At the end of a nearly seven-hour meeting, the Pasadena Unified Board of Education voted on Thursday, March 4, to bring its youngest elementary school students back on campus for in-person instruction by the end of the month. The first to return will be students in pre-kindergarten and kindergarten, who will come back to campus on March 29. First and second graders will come back on April 1. They'll all leave for spring break one week later, coming back on April 13. That's when students in third through fifth grade will join them. If Los Angeles County's coronavirus case rate falls below seven cases per 100,000 residents, as current trends indicate may happen within the next week or so, and stay at that level for another two weeks, the district will be allowed to bring back middle and high school students. Still, no date set for their return yet. Board members Tina Fredericks and Michelle Bailey voted against the resolution. When the board finished voting, just as the meeting was about to end, Fredericks criticized Superintendent Brian McDonald for sending an email to Pasadena Unified Parents on Wednesday night for announcing a specific reopening date before the board met today. The board is the boss of the superintendent, not the other way around, Fredericks said. I will not tolerate choices that undermine the board. I expect better choices going forward. McDonald fired back, saying the characterization was grossly unfair. On the one hand, we're criticized for not communicating enough. On the other hand, when we communicate, it's criticized, McDonald said, explaining the email sent to parents only stated what was in the resolution he authored and proffered to the board. It was a contentious ending to a largely peaceful, yet lengthy meeting. Fredericks had favored an alternative start date offered by board member Patrick Cahillon. He suggested bringing the first round of students back to campus after spring break on April 13, saying the extra time would help the district get a better sense of the danger posed by new coronavirus variants and the efficacy of vaccination programs. Fredericks supported the idea, arguing it would give teachers more time to get vaccinated and become more comfortable with the district's reopening plans. The board spent the first three hours of the seven-hour meeting listening to public comments, mostly from teachers who said they wanted to be on campus, but didn't have faith in the district's safety protocols. Many teachers said they wanted to be vaccinated before returning to campus. Others warned that shifting from distance learning would disrupt the rhythms established over the past year of at-home instruction, particularly for younger students. Most educators said they were frustrated with the district's communication around its reopening protocols.